1 Corinthians 9, 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be cast away. Listen, here Paul is saying that he is still vulnerable to the fate of being cast away. Also, note that Paul says that his very salvation is contingent on bringing his body into subjection, which means that his very actions can cause him to be cast away. Go and read it yourself. I keep my body and under my body and what bring it into subjection? He brings his body into subjection. Why? Because unless that by any means he should be cast away. Okay. First Corinthians 9, 24. Ye know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Recently, I heard a one save, always save advocate. It was Jack Smack, in a, you know, calling me a, a free grace poser, right? Which I was a free grace believer, but I just don't believe it anymore. Uh, I what? All right. Uh, I heard Jack Smack advocate and say that it is wrong to like and receiving the gift of eternal life to a race. However, interestingly, that is exactly how Paul describes the effort we must put forth in order to attain eternal life. Again, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. I believe here Paul uses the analogy of a race, not because there can only be one to obtain the prize, but because as we run in a race, one must exert effort or endure until the end in order to win anything. If you don't cross the finish line in a race, you cannot get a prize. The word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, starting off in verse 24, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth what? The prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain what? A corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. This passage is often misunderstood and misused to assert that a believer can lose their salvation if they fail to persevere unto the end. First and foremost, notice the distinct language that Paul uses in this passage. He refers to running a race to receive the prize, striving for mastery to obtain a crown. This passage is pertaining to a reward rather than the gift of eternal life. And that is imperative to understand. We have to rightly divide the word of truth. A gift is not a reward and a reward is not a gift. Salvation is the gift of God given freely to all who receive it by grace through faith alone. It is not a prize that we work for, nor is it a reward that we earn. It is the gift of God given freely to all who simply believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The word of God says in Ephesians chapter 2, starting off in verse 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. Notice this. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Of course, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Salvation is God's gift to give not our reward to earn. I'll say that again. Salvation is God's gift to give, not our reward to earn. Look at verse 26 of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Paul says this, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Contextually, Paul's usage of the word castaway is concerning what? A crown, a prize, a reward that is obtained 
by running a race. Again, not referring to salvation, the gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have to rightly divide the word of truth. Gifts, rewards. Salvation is a gift. It is not a reward. It is not a prize that we work for. The Bible says, for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below. How to be saved from hell, the only way to heaven and be saved today. God bless.